Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum, people. This is your boy Karkid, and today I'm going to review the new 2020 Corvette C8 Z51. So Corvette have eight generations from C1 to C8. This is the latest one, C8. The first Corvette was produced in 1953, but this is a Stingray edition. Stingray edition was produced in 1963. Why it's called a Stingray? Let me explain you in the easiest way. The Stingray is a fish and it's a very dangerous one. So keep away from the Stingray. That's why it's named as Stingray. So you got three trims in the Corvette C8. You got one LT, the base version. You got two LT. There are some of the differences, the new package. And you got a three LT. This car is a two LT with the exhaust changes, some of the performance suspensions and interior changes. The three LT, you got more options. Like you got leather seats, you got heated seat but this car also does one lt to shift into the two lt you have to pay seven thousand dollars this is the trim chain but you got performance packages as well you got the base version if you want to go to the z51 that is the this package performance package you have to pay extra five thousand dollars for that but there are rumors that in 2021 you will have a zr1 package that is 755 horsepower, but I'm not sure about so it. So I have borrowed the car from Al Faris used cars here in Sharjah. They are very big brand. Links in the description. They got very huge amount of collection of cars. You can go to the links and have a look at their car collection. If you need any discount, you can say my name and you can get a reasonable discount. Talking about the price of the Corvette C8 2020, as GM's promise, the Corvette will start under the price of $60,000. Yes. It is true, the Corvette C8 cost $59,995, $5 less than the $60,000 and the Stingray package, it goes up to $71,945. So this car is based in UAE and in UAE you can get it only from Al Faris used cars and you can get it in $315,000 dirhams. This is the starting price, the base 1 LT version. This is a Stingray version, so it can go up to 450,000 UAE dirhams. The biggest change in the Corvette C8 is you got no more front engine Corvette. You got a mid engine Corvette and there is no engine here. You got a remote, you got a key, you can open this. This is a trunk, you can double tap it and you can open it like this. There is something unique I have to show you guys. You got a pad under this air vent, you got a pad. When you press it, you can open the trunk. So this is something very unique. I have not seen in many cars. So the front trunk, when you open it, you got a reasonable space here and you got a button here. If someone locks you in the trunk, you can press this button and you can see a man running away from this trunk. So you can open a trunk from inside and you can run. The front look, no fake air vents. You got totally working air vents this side that side that side and a very unique and rare thing where you're gonna fit your number plate this is the plate this is the place to fit your number plate you can remove this cover and you can fit your number plate but with this beautiful car it will not look so beautiful a very sad thing is for me it's a copy of a lamborghini the front shape if you're gonna see the lamborghini aventador you will see the same curves same shape from the front and same lights as well you got a y-shaped lamborghini lights you got a same lights here and when you unlock the car it looks like this so the corvette c8 has an amazing camera options you got two cameras here and you got different amazing views from the camera whenever you're going to park your car you will have views from the top so you can see the nose of your car in the parking side look for me it's a combination of three cars actually from the front, it exactly looks as the Ferrari 360. The production of the Ferrari 360 was from 2000 to 2004. You can see in the picture here. And the side look here, it's uh, the air vent is like a copy of a Ventador, but it looks in a great shape. The back look is of the Corvette C7, the older generation, but the three combination looks amazing. You got front wheels, 19 inch front wheels and 20 inch back wheel. A unique thing in the Corvette C8 is you got two side mirrors and the two of them have different size. Like this is a little shorter one 
and the other one is a little longer one because of the rear view when you come back here you got no door handles you got a pad under this air vent here you can press it and you can open the door like this but this is the electronic door pad if the battery is dead how are you gonna open the door you got a key slot here inside this air vent and you can insert your key and you can open it a very angry Corvette C8 rare look you got a very wider and very angry look of this stingray you got a logo at the top of the stingray you got a spoiler and when you come down to the lights keep in mind one thing you don't have these lights working with the brake and reverse and your indicators only this piece of the light it's working let me show you guys when you unlock the car have a look at this only this is the parking brake lights you got all the air vents totally working and the exhaust of this Corvette Corvette sounds very loud all the time so let's hear the exhaust sound you can start the car from your remote and have a sound have a listen to this amazing beautiful beast so the heart of the Corvette C8 lies here you got an engine cover with a very nice gloss and the air vents totally totally functional air vents and come little bit closer i want to show you something you got the corvette logos here inside the mirror have a look closely you got this corvette logos inside the mirrors the air vents totally totally working and how you open it you got a button here you got a button in the door you can press it you can open this engine lid and what lies inside have a look at the beautiful corvette engine this is a 6.2 liters v8 with no more manual transmission all is the auto transmission and with the 6450 rpm producing 490 horsepower the base model this is the z51 package z51 package includes the exhaust the suspension the brembo brakes and the electronic stability control option in this one it produces 495 horsepower 0 to 100 in 3.1 seconds you got the engine here and beside the engine you got the other trunk you got a trunk in the front you got a trunk in the back you can fit the roof here in this trunk you got a targa top in the corvette c8 you got a convertible option as well but you can remove the top of your corvette how you can do that open the door and you got locks here at the top just unlock it from both sides and you can remove your top so you can fit in to the trunk at the back so how you remove it you got a lock here you got to unlock this thing and you got a lock in the center so what are you going to do unlock it and you have to just lift it like this so it's not so heavy how you fit the top into this trunk you have to see the clips see this thing will lock into the clips there so it will be like this so you have to keep it like this and give it a nice press so you can fit your roof in the trunk to remove it it's very easy you gotta pull it and it will come off whenever you get inside you will see a stingray logo in the door sills here have a look you got a stingray and a corvette logo amazing quality leather amazing quality material this is a metallic you got a buttons here you got this sound system and when you come to the cockpit of this chevrolet corvette c8 everything is turned towards the driver actually it's a driver focused car no need for the passenger okay so you got two screens no more analog screens you got a digital gauge cluster you got a screen here whenever you switch on the car this is the key you should have it with you here this is the start stop button here press the brake and you can start the car like this have a look at the screens you got a corvette logo this is the gauge cluster this is the infotainment screen a hexagon steering wheel you got a very nice aluminium uh, shifting pedals here you got a volume control buttons you got these some of the buttons to control your stereo and cruise options let's talk about the center console here you got everything in a single line 
you got all the temperature controls the seat heated cool everything here and a very less passenger focused cockpit you got something for the passenger here that is this temperature control for the air conditions a very thin air vents here this is the thinnest air vent in the car history i have seen with the minimal uh, options you got like nothing to adjust it's very very thin and when you talk about the buttons here let me explain you here you got a hand rest here you can keep your hand and use the infotainment screen under this you got a button you can scroll this like this for different modes when you scroll it have a look at the gauge cluster the gauge cluster changes this is the tour mode or normal mode when you scroll it once it goes to the sports mode when you scroll it again it goes to the track mode one more interesting thing it changes all the details in different modes you got a button here in the steering wheel that's written z as this is a z51 package so you got exhaust changes the brembo brake systems you got suspension changes bluetooth change you got the heads up display here in this 2lt version when you press this have a look at the gauge cluster when you press the z button here it shifts into the z mode directly and the gauge cluster changes very nicely done moving on to the infotainment screen you got very nice touch here and a quick response infotainment screen you got a pdr option very unique option in this infotainment screen this is the performance and development review option when you click on this you can record your lap timing this is the overlay options here you got in this pdr option video overlay you can record it in different modes so this is a non mode preview it you will see nothing you will see a clean clear screen when you record it in the different modes i'll give you an example recorded in the track mode preview you will have this track details only a track driver can understand those things okay so the other thing is you got cameras here you got camera options in front of this handrest you got a button press this button the car will shift this view into a camera view i showed you two cameras in the front this is the view from the top those cameras give you this view when you move the car it shows you what's in the front you can choose different views for those cameras you can have a rear view you can have this view as well you got a traction control button the gear buttons here you got this lever a little bit lever to pull up to shift into the gears you got this pull up shift into the drive this is a manual button you have to press it for the manual this is the neutral and this is finally the parking button so this is all what you need to know in the corvette c8 so time to drive this beast you got different sound in different modes as I, as i explained you that you got different modes when you start the car you got a normal voice that i explain you right now but i want to show you sound that th this car produces in a different modes that is sports plus and track mode go back and hear the sound going to drive it in a track mode let's see that how this corvette is going from 0 in 3.1 second going to drive it in a track mode and 1 to 3 very nice car chevrolet have done amazing job corvette all the time is so fast but actually my camera is moved with the speed corvette all the time they produced amazing cars with the fast acceleration and performance but this is something next level zorix supercar shape and you got a very cheap price tag that is starting under $60,000 very very nicely done the performance package z51 includes the exhaust system the brembo brake systems the suspension and you got a roof top man when you remove the roof it is amazing view when you drive the car with the open roof you got a convertible version as well but when you remove it 
you got a nice view you got a fast car you got all the options the touch screen is so fast the gauge clusters in the track mode amazingly done everything so you're driving in a tour mode and driving it you can shift it into the z mode that's in your steering wheel when you shift into the z mode the gauge cluster changes everything changes and you can pull the car also the options you got in 2lt is the bluetooth the heads up display you got a heads up display in this version you don't have it in the base version so this is what you get in 2lt and 3lt by the way this is a 2lt package but you got leather seats and heated and cool seats in this car added you have to pay some extra money for that my hairs it looks like like i have an electric shock this was the beautiful corvette c8 with the beautiful options beautiful body style beautiful performance and of course a beautiful price tag hope you enjoyed the video stay tuned for upcoming videos new cars till that time peace out